Hello! Boy, sure is thick with zombies out there today, as I'm sure you've noticed. I must have gotten at least a baker's dozen before lunchtime. So I want to especially thank everyone for joining me on this episode of Frequency Z. I am your host, Ivan Zukov. And we got a lot to get to on the show today, so let's get right to it. I thought with all the zombies bouncing around out there, it might be a good idea to start off today's show with a zombie essential weapon recommendation. Today we're going to talk about a tool that's always by my side. And it's always in my toolbox. And it's always killing zombies. The machete. It's a zombie essential. These things are built to last, folks. They're built for slashing and jabbing and cutting. And as far as zombie killing goes, really can't beat this. It really is a zombie essential. And you can pick one up at any hardware store that hasn't been completely looted yet. So go out and pick up one if you haven't got one. If you have got one, go out and get a second one. Machete. Highly recommend it. Zombie essential. I give it five stars. So as long as we're doing reviews, I thought we might talk about something that was sent into the show by one of our viewers. Mutt has sent in from Vapor Bomb some Mutt Fire and Ice. And this is what I'll be vaping through the entire show. It really is very good. It's like... Uh, it's like vaping an atomic fireball. It's really very good. You should check it out. Mutt Fire and Ice from Vapor Bomb. Highly recommend it. And now it's time for the zombie joke of the day. What is a zombie's favorite shampoo? Head and shoulders. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Speaking of zombies, sounds like they're getting a little rowdy up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to bug out to one of our other other school's locations where we have captured the zombie and we're going to deal with him. So uh, hopefully by the time we get back things will calm down here. So come on, let's head on over. Hello everybody! Welcome to Undisclosed Bunker Location number 7. This is my crazy cousin Boris. Say hello Boris. Hi, Boris. And this, as you may recognize, is Rance Previs from the last week. Say hi, Rance! Now, Rance, as we all remember, was bit by zombie last week. And now, as you can see, he's not looking so good for Mr. Rance. So we're going to do Rance a favor. We're going to put him out of his misery. Now, my crazy cousin Boris has been starving Rance for several days now. This is a good state you want zombies in. A nice, submissive, calm state. This is the best way to kill zombies. So, I tell you what, uh, st uh, step number one always when killing zombies, always want to cover your nose and mouth because of the splashback. It comes back, it hits you in the nose, it hits you in the mouth. Trouble for everybody. So, here we go. Got to up, get it ready. And, uh, boys, go ahead and step aside. Right? It's been good to know anybody. seem to have calmed down a bit here and that's something we should talk about in Zombie 101. Zombies tend to move in hordes so it's always good to have more than one undisclosed bunker location. That way you can move from location to location depending on how thick the zombie horde is and they will move around so one location may be safe one day maybe not safe the next day. You'll try it out it's a trial and error kind of thing you'll figure it out. So Zombie 101 more than one bunker location. So let's take a look at the email we got from one of our viewers. It's a uh, poem sent in by Techno Vapor. And she writes in and she says 
There once came a zombie, I whacked off his head. Once he was gone, I went back to bed. Then came another, but he couldn't climb, and I was still sleeping, so maybe next time. That's great, Techno Vapor. Thanks for sending that in. You can all send these emails to the show by going to this website here, Zombie Vapor's ECF Forum. There, you can also vote for the Zombie Plan of the Month. The March Zombie Plan of the Month options are streaming on your screen right now. January Zombie Plan of the Month is Montezuma's Castle. February is Befriending Chuck Norris. And you can see both of these Zombie Plans of the Month by going to the website here also. Well, that's it for the show. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, be sure to tune in again to the next episode of Frequency Z, where I look forward to reading your emails, killing more zombies, and having a great time. So, see you soon. Frequency Z. You can count on it. Can you feel that?